Welcome back to Meet the Press Now. I'm Peter Alexander. None of these candidates, that is who technically won the Republican primary in Nevada last night with former Governor Nikki Haley coming in a distant second place despite Trump not even being on the ballot. The Republican primary situation is messy in Nevada with a party holding a caucus tomorrow night where Mr. Trump will be on the ballot. But this result was a significant rebuke of Haley's campaign, which is vowed to stay in the race through her home state of South Carolina and through Super Tuesday, despite what is an increasingly difficult, if not perhaps impossible, path to the nomination. Haley quickly downplayed the result, noting that the contest was mostly symbolic with the state's delegates. I guess it was basically was symbolic with the state's delegates being awarded in that more Trump-friendly caucus tomorrow. Let's get to Steve Kornacki. He joins me now from the big board. Steve, what's kind of striking in all of this, right, is this means that more people had to go there voting for somebody that's not Haley than voting for Haley herself. That takes some capital on the part of those folks there. She wasn't playing for any delegates last night, but this is a gut punch for her. Walk us through what happened. Yeah, no, I think there's no question about it, Peter. I mean, so as you mentioned, none of these candidates winning. Now, what is that? Since 1975, that's been a Nevada state law. At the bottom of every ballot is the option. It's basically none of the above, none of these candidates. And typically, that option will get 2 3 4%, maybe at best, in an election. Since 1975, when this was instituted in Nevada, if you look at all of the primaries, all of the general elections, all of the offices in Nevada, presidential, Senate, governor, Congress, Secretary say all of them, uh, there have been, before last night, there were five instances where none of these candidates actually won. So this is only the sixth time that this option has actually won a race in Nevada. And this percentage here, 63 percent, is by far the highest that none of these candidates has ever gotten. And I think it is definitely fair to read this basically as a Trump vote. As you say, his name was not on the ballot here. And these were voters who, in very, very unusually high numbers, chose this option. It seems clear that's basically a Trump vote there. Uh, and it, it, it could read this as Trump crushing Haley. So, Steve, to be clear, you can vote in the primary and again in the caucus, right? Right? So Trump voters could have showed up to deliver a message to Nikki Haley and show up again for the caucus. Yeah, and it's not so much a question. Of, it could be showing up in the primary. A lot of this is done by mail, of course. And so, right. you know, they could get it at home and, and, and that's that. But the other thing to keep in mind with this, too, is Nevada, unlike Iowa, unlike New Hampshire, closed primary. Yeah. There were no independents voting here. There were no Democrats voting here. This was Republicans only. And it's what we saw in New Hampshire, where Haley was competitive statewide, but among just Republicans, she lost by nearly 50 points. Well, here there's no independents, there's no Democrats to make her competitive competitive statewide. It's just Republicans. And this is the huge problem. This is the huge hurdle that uh, she is yet to show. And this is the most dramatic illustration of it yet, that when you get to that core group of Republican voters, mm -hmm. this is the level of resistance to her. And you cannot win a Republican nomination when this is what you're running into. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.